Right, hello everyone and welcome back to another video on the channel now today. Today we're back with another video on Wrexham AFC. Today is quite a special video as, as you can imagine, over the weekend in the past week, a lot of special things happened at the club. Before we get into today's video, if you are new watching this video, then please get down there and hit the red subscribe button for all the best Wrexham AFC content on YouTube. I say it every week, but it's true we produce the best Wrexham AFC content on YouTube, whether it be match day vlogs or just general news about the club, we have it covered. We're on the road to 15,000 subscribers. We're just under 400 away from hitting that incredible milestone. So if you could get down there and subscribe, it would mean a lot to me. And enough of the self-promotion, let's get talking about what happened and what made this week so incredible for Wrexham Football Club. So the first thing being Ben Foster re-signed for Wrexham AFC 18 years on from his last game at the club and he in fact made his second debut once again 18 years since he last stepped foot on the race course turf. To be precise, it has been 6,533 days since he last played on the race course ground, which was against Huddersfield Town in 2005. 998 games have been played in all competitions since he left the club and in that time we have had 13 managers none of which could take us back up to the football league but let's hope the 13th man being phil parkinson can fingers crossed take us back up to the glory land so i think we need to start with the reception that foster did get when the teams walked out onto the pitch I mean, it was absolutely incredible. A moment that he ran down to the tack end to put his GoPro in the net, to put his bottle in the net. Every single person in the race course ground was on their feet cheering and applauding him because they know what an absolutely incredible person he is. Obviously, he speaks very highly of Wrexham and I won't lie, that moment in time when that happened did give me goosebumps. It was a crazy moment and I would go as far as saying it, it sounds stupid, but it was one of the best moments sporting Wrexham FC, seeing Ben Foster run down and the cheer that he got was absolutely incredible. And for his performance, I mean, you couldn't tell that he hadn't played in nine months. Okay, his last game was in the Premier League for Watford, but to think he was hung over at Cheltenham Festival this time last weekend, it's fair to say he put out a good performance, you know, a week on from that, and nine months on from last kicking a ball in a competitive football match, I think he did really, really well. I thought he was really sharp. I was expecting him to maybe be a bit stiff, obviously. He's been out for a while. He's turning 40 next week. You'd expect him to maybe have been a bit fragile, but no, he was sharp. He was good coming out for crosses, and I think we need to take a minute to appreciate how good this man's distribution is his kicking his throwing was excellent especially his throwing there was a few times in the game especially in the second half where he'd catch the ball he'd claim it and he'd be straight out running to the edge of the box throwing it out to cannon there was one time where he started an attack way through out to cannon and then there was two up front cannon sitting in midfield running forward with the ball it caught the defenders of york city so off guard and it just really helped out having a goalkeeper who is quick and wants to get the ball out really quickly and again you could just just tell that Ben Foster was happy to be playing football and he was happy to be back donning the Wrexham AFC goalkeeper shirt. He celebrated every goal with passion, especially the first goal. You'll have seen it on the match day vlog, running, jumping around. You know, it was very heartwarming. And again, it gave me goosebumps seeing him, considering he was playing against Cristiano Ronaldo last year for Watford, to still think he has this passion whilst playing for a non-league club, because it just shows how much Wrexham AFC means to Ben Foster. Blowing kisses to the fans before the game, putting the GoPro in the net, he was loving it. And for the signing wise, it's surreal to have him back at the club it's every fan's dream over the past 12 or so months to see him back at the club and he'll definitely add that really good bit of experience to the dressing room again it's such an important time in the season as we're hoping to go back up to the football league so away from foster now now we're going to be talking about the incredible supporters of Rex FC 
and yet again how we broke another record. So not only was it our highest league attendance of the 22-23 Vanarama National League season, it's our biggest home attendance since the 5th of May 2007 where we did secure survival on the final day at home to Bosden United which was 5,805 days ago, 5,805 days on we have broken that record. The official attendance was 10,161 which is absolutely incredible to think that we only have three stands open at the minute. I can only imagine what it will be like when the COP does open. We'll probably be averaging about 15,000 fans every week. And I've just got to give credit because we have an incredible, incredible fan base. And I will put emphasis on the incredible because that is what we are. We travel in numbers, home and away. It's been phenomenal the past two seasons to see the numbers gradually increase, to see the amount of people that have shown interest in supporting Wrexham and following our quest back up to the Football League. It's unrivaled support. We sell out every home game. General tickets go within about 30 seconds. It's absolutely mind-blowing and I just haven't got my head around it yet. You know, we're guaranteed 10,000 fans through the gates every week. Whether we're playing Dorking Wanderers or Ulchenham, you bet there will be 10,000 plus there. And gone were the days where you could just decide a few hours before kickoff, it would hit midday and you'd be like, oh, do I want to go and watch Wrexham today? Am I really feeling it? And then if you were feeling it, you could just turn up, pay on the gate, get your seat. But how times have changed and it all seems like I'm living in one big dream and I just feel like I need someone to pinch me and then I'll wake up and everything. And like I said, it is absolutely astonishing what has happened to this football club. All thanks to two Hollywood actors, Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney. Honestly, I think I can speak on behalf of every Wrexham fan. Thank you ever so much for changing our lives around. And then it's quite breathtaking when you stand there, when the whistle does go, you look around and you barely see a red seat inside. Like gone were the days, like I said, when you could turn up, pay on the gate. There'd probably be more than half of the stadium empty on those games. But now, like I said, you'll be lucky to find an empty seat in the race course ground at home. And then not to mention our away support. In a few weeks time, we travel to FC Halifax Town on Easter Friday, where yet again, we have sold out four and a half thousand away tickets for our Easter weekend fixture away at Halifax. I mean, the support from the Red Army is absolutely insane. And of course, it wouldn't be a Wrexham FC video if we didn't talk about the fantastic Wrexham women's team. And before we start, I couldn't unfortunately make it to the game on Sunday, just for personal reasons. And before anyone says, oh, he doesn't like women's football, there is reasons behind it. But... They don't need to be talked about and we're just going to concentrate on the incredible weekend it was for the women's team. Now we absolutely smashed it out the park on numerous occasions on this day. Not only did we get to lift the trophy on the race course pitch but it was watched by a record breaking, yes a record breaking 9,511 crowd inside the race course ground. This absolutely cruised past the previous Welsh Women's League record which was held by Cardiff City when they played Abergavenny last October. The attendance that day was 5,175. Wrexham v Connors Key Women's absolutely smashed it by 4,336. All I can say is a huge round of applause for everyone that turned up to that game. And I just want to put it in perspective, on this day 10 years ago, we hosted Luton Town in a Blue Square Premier League game. The attendance that day was 3,907. 10 years on, Wrexham Women's are playing Connors Key Women's in the race course ground with an attendance of over 9,500. It beat that attendance against Luton by 5,664, which I, I genuinely have no words on how I can describe how incredible that day must have been for those women that were playing on the pitch. And not to mention as well the fantastic winner on the 82nd minute from Rosie Hughes to win the game, rounding the keeper, strength, power, precision, all those words can describe that goal and surely we just need to appreciate that free kick by TJ Dickens as well. What an absolutely incredible free kick, two brilliant goals to win the game in front of a record breaking crowd. And it's great to see as well how much time Ryan and Rob do have for the women's team equally as much as they do for the men's which I think is really important and they're doing an incredible job by exposing women's football and really getting it back on the map. So well done to everyone involved who has been involved in Wrexham women's winning the title and I want to say best of luck in the playoff game as well. 
everyone who turned up to make it a fantastic day as well. And the final part of the video is actually a personal achievement for me. You might click off now, but this is for me to watch back on probably in a year's time and think, wow, what crazy times they were. But on Saturday night, I uploaded my Wrexham versus York City vlog. Now, I expected it to do well because obviously Ben Foster returning to the club, Ryan and Rob watching his second debut in a Wrexham shirt. But I did not expect the video to hit 38,000 views, which does actually make it my highest ever viewed vlog on the channel absolutely smashing this previous highest by 11,000 which was funny enough uploaded on the exact same weekend one year ago when we beat Dover 6-5 and yeah we hit 14,000 subscribers as well so times at the minute for me are quite crazy and they're not but I know I mean I cannot thank you enough for the incredible support you have shown me on this channel every video everyone turns up I recognize your name in the comments the same people comment and even if you don't comment thank you so much for watching the videos every watch obviously means a lot to me and I think it's fair to say you are making my dream come true so that is it that's my little recap of what's happened at Wrexham AFC on the weekend and in the week surely don't think times can get any crazier than that that's probably the best week that the club has had to date breaking a couple of records and getting a club legend back at the club so if you did enjoy today's video make sure to drop a like get in the comment section down below what your favorite game has been that rex mfc have played this season and i'll see you in another video up the town i'll see you fingers crossed for another video maybe in the week or if not i'll see you on saturday fingers crossed i can get there for the game against oldham so yeah take care guys and i'll see you in the next video